the world's really not that stressful when you're up here. Nothing's stressful. It's quiet. You can't hear anything but the wind, the birds. In the morning, you get this sense of feeling where you started a new life every day. You start this new life. Oh, we're gonna move that in the raptor. Yeah. Yeah. What do the mountains mean to me as a Native American man? I believe the mountains are everything. You, ain't got no, you, you only have one reed? I believe if the Yakimas did not have the mountains, we, it, it would be very stressful living. Are we driving all the way there from here? Or? No. We're stopping down at this, so we're, we're going to... And when we come up here, we're able to clear our minds, clear our hearts, talk to one another, talk to the forest. In some sense, we reset our hearts, and when we hunt and we fish, we clear our minds up here. I see it. Four inches? Four inches right and four up, maybe. I believe that the snow is very important to us as far as the change in the seasons and knowing what comes next. Historically, us as Yakima, we would follow the animals when, when the winter would start. They would see it as them moving camp and moving their teepees with the animals. Us is in the modern era, we do the same. Nowadays we have our own homes we go back to at the end of the night, but we still move with the animals in the same way. As the animals move down the hill, our hunt grounds move down the hill. As they go to their wintering grounds, we move with them. We all evolved in the same type of people. It was always about hunting. That was the only thing that really could fill our souls, you know what I mean? Like all the beautiful things that you can do in the world. Like we go to Vegas or been to a lot of places that were fun, but we're always racing home to go hunting. That was life for us when we are growing up. I mean, we gotta preserve our way of life, preserve the gifts and the, the rights that were handed down to us. My father was arrested when he was 16 years old for shooting a calf elk mm -hmm. on a ceded property. Growing up, I seen him have to fight for a lot of rights like that, a lot of hunting rights. We as hunters actually benefited from the fights that they had to take on. As a Native American, you gotta keep your tradition going. You gotta keep standing up for your rights and hunting and doing the things you, you were born to do, you are taught to do by your, your ancestor. Decide if we're gonna go left or right. We might just be sitting up in one of these whole pockets or right up here.
hard to use. When you're cutting your meat, taking care of your animal it really takes care of you in your mind. I hope someday that I could teach a family or a couple kids how to hunt and they could provide for their family later on. They come up this river, all the way here. I'll continue to be in these mountains as long as I live. And I'll continue to hunt. I'll continue our traditional ways. And we'll continue to teach best way we know how. We'll keep our way of life together as long as we can.